I'm Daddy O2 Spicy, and I want to go over week seven top quarterbacks. Now, this is a new, new rank I just saw, and I was just like, hmm, let me go. I want to see this. So it's week seven, all the stats, everything. So starting off at number one, Josh Allen, 100, 1,900 yards, 17 touchdowns, four interceptions. Number two, Pat Mahomes, of course, number two, Pat Mahomes, 1,700 yards, 17 touchdowns, four interceptions. Number three, Jalen Hearns, my man, Jalen Hearns, 1,500 yards, six touchdowns, two interceptions. I, I truly thought Jalen Hearns had at least like 10 touchdowns. Lamar Jackson, 1,200 yards, six interceptions. 13 touchdowns, six interceptions, bro. He's the reason why they're losing games at this point. But he's pushing for that 300 million guarantee. I told motherfuckers that he want that cash, bro. He want that bag. Yeah, yeah, you got it. Number five, Justin Hilbert, 1,700 yards, 10 interceptions. I mean, 10 touchdowns, three interceptions. Spectacular quarterback. Watch them play against. Watch them play against Denver. Really good. Really good. I haven't seen him play all year. He struggled. Got sacked a lot. Got sacked three times in that game. In order for him to be better, they got to protect him. Number six, Tom Brady, the struggling goat. Sixteen hundred yards, eight touchdowns, one interceptions, negative seven rushing yards, three fumbles. We all know about Tom Brady. He been getting sacked a lot, bro. He been getting sacked a lot. You gotta protect Tom Brady at that point. If you don't protect him, Tom Brady's gonna get hurt. Number seven, Geno Smith. Excellent season from Geno. Fifteen hundred yards, nine touchdowns, two interceptions, one hundred and twenty-five yards rushing, one rushing touchdown, two fumbles. Great season. You couldn't have a better backup to Russell Wilson lose. Uh, to Russell Wilson leaving than Geno Smith right now. Geno is, I mean, this is what we expected from Geno when he first got drafted, but now he's in an offense where he's comfortable. He can throw. He got a nice running game. He's comfortable in this offense. And honestly, I don't see them making a change anytime soon. They might draft somebody in the third, fourth round as a quarterback, somebody that they can watch grow behind Geno. But I don't I don't see them making a move from Geno anytime soon. Number eight, Joe Burrow, 1,600 yards, 12 touchdowns, five interceptions, 110 yards rushing, two touchdowns, three fumbles lost. I watched them play. They're getting better. They're getting better. I mean, against top 10 defenses, and they struggled. He, Joe Burrow, got sacked a lot. These last two games, he hasn't been sacked. He, his jersey looks a lot cleaner. Joe Cool will be, they'll be okay. It's going to take some time. They just got to get a little healthy. Number nine, Green Bay's Aaron Rodgers. 1,400 yards, nine touchdowns, three interceptions, nine rushing yards, five fumbles. He's been getting sacked to protect him. He wouldn't, he wouldn't be as grumpy as he is. He's down. It says he's down two spots. So he, last week he was at, he was at six. So he went down this week. You got to protect Aaron Rodgers if you want him to play, but that's his fault. He has no wide receivers. He took the $200 million instead of letting his wide receiver take it. I mean, this is what we personally, everybody expected him to struggle due to the fact that he has no wide receivers. So, oops. Uh, Tua, number 10, Tua. Thir uh, 1,035 yards, eight touchdowns, three interceptions, one rushing yard, one forced fumble. This guy is unbelievable, bro. You watch this man play, you have to watch he him those play setbacks with those played. concussions, but that's about it. The concussion, the first concussion I thought was a legit concussion. Everybody knew it. That's why they fired that guy. You're talking about backs problems. They just wanted to beat the Bills. That's all they wanted to do is beat the Bills. That's why they sent them back out there. But when he comes back, this offense will go back to scoring 30 points per and they will they will constantly rack up the numbers. And this might be they might be a Super Bowl contender if they can stay healthy. They're number 11, Kirk Cousins, 1500 yards, nine touchdowns, five interceptions, 18 rushing yards, one rushing touchdown, one fumble for loss. Only reason why his, his numbers look like this 
is because Justin Jefferson. That's the only reason why he's he has 1,500 yards and nine touchdowns. He has no other wide receiver. Fielding is playing the number two when at, at this time in Fielding's career, he should be playing the slot. I mean, the only reason Justin Jack Jefferson is, man, this dude is only his second year in the league, and he's already on fire, bro. I think it's, it's his third year, and he's already on fire. So I'm not a believer in Kirk Cousins. I'm with Kyler Murray. 1,400 yards, six touchdowns, four interceptions, 233 rushing yards, two rushing touchdowns, four fumbles for loss. Call of Duty coming out. That's all I'm going to say. Kyler Murray and his Call of Duty thing, Call of Duty coming out, and his numbers have shown when that shit comes out, his ass going to be on the game all day. But he's he's another quarterback that's struggling because of the offensive line. He just got – he just lost – uh. Marquise, Marquise Brown, and he just got Robbie Anderson. I don't know if this is a downgrade or upgrade, to be honest. I, I, I don't know, but it's a good replacement. It's a good replacement. They get Hopkins back, but this he getting his wide receivers back. I, I believe they still a playoff team, but I still don't believe that Kyler Murray is the quarterback for this particular type of team. So, But he's going to be there. He has four years, 100 and something mil. So Kyler Murray is going to stay. 13, Ryan Tellingham. 13, Ryan Tellingham. 965 yards, six touchdowns, three interceptions, 23 rushing yards, one touchdown, one fumble for loss. Those are terrible numbers. I will give those fucking numbers to a rookie. Ryan Tellingham looks bad, bro. And the fact that he's still starting over that rookie, just saying that they believe in this guy. Huh? These are bad numbers from a quarterback. He's the only one at 13 that has nine, 965 yards. That is terrible. He hasn't even broke the 1,000-yard barrier. That's uh, that's a bad number. That's that's bad numbers for Tennessee starting quarterback. The next quarterback, even this year, Derek Carr. Derek Carr sits at 1,200, 1200 yards, eight. Eight touchdowns, four interceptions, 69 yards rushing, zero rushing yards, zero rushing touchdowns. Like, bro, like, even this is way better. Those are bad numbers for Tellingham. Derek Carr sits at 14. Uh, solid season for Derek Carr. Uh, they just one of those teams that you can see still, still chipping at the ice, still trying to break through. You know, uh, Adams just got that fine. He going to be suspended a couple games for pushing that guy. That guy thought he was gonna get some millions off of Adams after just scraping his knee. This offense is they're gonna break through. It just takes time. And this is that added pressure. This is that added pressure when you get these newly these new players, these superstar players. Everybody wants to see you do good right away. When you have to understand, it's a gelling process. When you watch them play, they don't look like a one in five team. They look like a four and one team. But they cannot close out these games. 15, they have Matt Stanford, 1,500 yards, six touchdowns, eight interceptions, seven yards rushing, zero rushing touchdowns, four fumbles. Matt Stanford looks bad, and he looks bad because he's getting pressured. Matt Stanford is getting sacked every single fucking game. Any, every game. Every game you see a Matt Stanford on his back, he's not doing any like he can't. That. This offense is struggling because of Matt Stafford is is not relying on the other wide receivers around him. Matt Stafford is only looking for one wide receiver. Then this running game is not working. So there's a long list of problems with this offense. But the thing is, it starts with Matt Stafford. Sixteen, Jimmy Garoppolo. 111 yards, seven seven touchdown passes, three interceptions, 18 rushing yards, one rushing touchdown, whatever, Jimmy G, whatever, Jimmy G stats. Seven, uh, 17, Gerald Goff, 1,300 yards, 11 touchdown passes, four interceptions, 23 rushing yards, zero touchdowns, two fumble. Gerald Goff has come a long way. He's running this offense. This offense is number one to number two in the uh, NFL as scoring points. Number one in offense, you know, total when people offense. People ship you to a place like Detroit. They don't. They don't. 
expect you to have success. But these numbers, the 1,300 yards and 11 touchdowns and four interceptions are numbers of a dude being a leader and taking success and taking it, literally taking it because they dumped him there and they thought that he was going to fail and shit, take that shit. And he took it. Number 18, Daniel Jones, a thousand yards, five touchdowns, two interceptions, 236 yards rushing, two rushing touchdowns, two forced fumbles. Even Daniel Jones numbers look better than Tallahans, Ryan Tallahans numbers. Even Daniel Jones, who's having a mediocre season because he's another quarterback that's constantly on his back. There's a lot of quarterbacks you can say they're, they've been on their back this year, and Daniel Jones is most definitely one of them. Daniel Jones, Aaron Rodgers, Matt Stanford, uh, Tom Brady, and did I say Aaron Rodgers? We can even go Colts, Colts, Matt Ryan, Justin Fields, Joe Burrow. These are a lot. These are only quarterbacks I can say off the top of my hands that's constantly getting sacked every single game. So Daniel Jones is most definitely one of those quarterbacks. 19, Marcus Mariota, 1,055 yards, six touchdowns, four, four interceptions, 206 yards rushing, three rushing touchdowns, seven forced fumbles. Seven force fumbles is a little bit high. That's the highest number I've seen on a quarterback. Andy Dalton. Andy Dalton, 585 yards, three three passing touchdowns, one interception, seven rushing yards, one one fumble loss. 585 yards. I mean, him at least him and Telehan got that in common. Trevor Lawrence, 21, 1,300 yards. 1,300 yards, nine, nine passing touchdowns, four interceptions, 81 yards, two rushing touchdowns. Pretty good. Pretty good for his second season. That's, a, that's For his third season, that's really good for him. Russell Wilson, 1,400 yards, five touchdowns, three interceptions, one rushing touchdown, one fumbled. Russell Wilson is struggling. He's not comfortable in Denver. And that's just a fact. You can see it when he plays. Everybody gets on him. That's what happens when you just take take the money. He's not comfortable in Denver. Uh, I don't care. I, I'm seeing him force force on trying to be better and trying and believe and have this hope. But it just he doesn't look comfortable in Denver. Denver is not a destination that he should have took that big contract at. Number 23, Matt Ryan, 1,700 yards. Eight, eight touchdowns, eight, seven interceptions, nine rushing yards, which is big for Matt Ryan. 11, 11 fumbles. That's it, 11 fumbles. 11 fumbles. Whoa, not only is he leading, he damn near leading the league in passing yards, but he's leading quarterbacks in fumbles. 11. He's another quarterback that's that get hit. I said Matt Ryan. I said Matt Ryan. Uh, you got to keep Matt Ryan protected. That's just that simple. If you protect Matt Ryan better, which is insane because they have Nelson on their line. They have two really good guards. Two really good guards. And these guys are really good. So the fact that they can't protect them is interesting. Number 24, Carson Wentz, 1,400 yards, 10 touchdowns, 6 interceptions, 79 rushing yards, 6 fumbles. Well, you ain't got to worry about yourself, Carson Wentz. Those numbers will not increase four to six weeks. Hurt with I salute him for playing hurt. Kenny Pickens, he damn he he was he moving up. Kenny Pickens, five hundred and fourteen yards, one touchdown, four interceptions, forty one rushing yards, two touchdowns, one fumble. This is only his second game plan. This is this is only his second game plan. And he has two hundred and fourteen yards passing. That that's pretty good. That's pretty good. And he's moved up two spots from 27 to 25. So that's pretty good. Jacob Dorsett, 1,300 yards passing, six touchdowns, five interceptions, 112 yards rushing, one rushing touchdown, two fumbles. This offense thrives off Dorsett, bro. For some reason, he's just bringing this up to this team, bro, at the quarterback position, which, which they needed until uh, – Deshaun Watson got back. He is literally 
bringing this team along every week. This team is playing. They're playing really good every week, every week. Their defense is struggling. They're constantly playing good, playing good. These numbers are really good for a backup quarterback. They're really good for a backup Wilson, quarterback. All these guys are starting. This is his third game back. Uh, 572 yards, one passing touchdown, two interceptions, 18 yards rushing, and one rushing touchdown. I watched Zach Wilson at BYU. He's going to be good. He's going to be great. I watched him play this week. He took control of the offense. He passed the ball. He ran the ball. He ran a, He ran RPOs pretty good. He is a shotgun fanatic. Anything in a shotgun, he can get it. He's another Patrick Mahomes type duplicate. He can be a because his side arm. He got to have the smoothest side arm I've ever seen. Give it to the baby. Give it to the baby. Mm. Give it to the baby. All right. Number twenty-eight. Barrel zip, zip, zap, zippy, zip, zippy, zip. What a barrel zip. This is third game too. 596 yards, four touchdowns, one interception, one rushing yard, zero, zero rushing touchdowns, three fumbles. Uh, Baylor Zip, people were talking about a, a quarterback controversy between him and Mac. There would never be a quarterback controversy between him and Mac because he's good, but Mac is great. Mac takes this offense by the horns. This offense is Mac's offense. So even though he's third game, he's playing well, four touchdowns, one interceptions. He's just another really good, solid backup. He's young out of Western Kentucky. Uh, shit, just another young player to look out for, to be honest with you. A dude that can throw the ball. Justin Fields, number 29, 869 yards. <laughs> 869 yards passing, four touchdowns, five interceptions, 282 yards Rushing, one touchdown, seven forced fumbles. Seven fumbles. My bad. Ugh. Six games. That's that looks bad. You know, um, he only in his second season, but that those numbers this year looks terrible. Five five interceptions, four touchdowns. I mean, those those are not numbers that. What the hell, Tallahan? Oh. Him and Tallahan, him and Tallahan, Ryan Tallahan got the same exact numbers. Tallahan just got a hundred, a hundred yards. Yeah, 169. Yeah. So Tallahan only got a hundred points, a hundred yards more than him. 969 yards passing. He got 869 yards passing. Fucking ridiculous. Cooper Rush. We all know Cooper Rush, Dallas quarterback. A uh, thousand yards, a thousand twenty yards, five touchdowns. Five, three interceptions, six rushing yards, two fumbles. Cooper Rush, I, I, some teams go want Cooper Rush, but I think his best bet is to stay in Dallas. He was there, but they all want to be starting quarterbacks. But I don't think you will find a team like Dallas. I think he go, if he goes somewhere, he struggles. I think he has to go somewhere where they're going to give him time to build. And he, when he played those games, he's actually was showcasing. 